Okay, now that we have the truss, the next thing will be to insert the point load. Now, to insert the point load is quite simple and straightforward. All you need to do is um, click on insert point load. Again, you have to make sure that object snap user defined grid is shown so that you you make sure that when you insert the uh, the, the point load is touching at the node point of the element. This is quite very very important. Okay, so I'll insert an element. Just click on insert element button. Click the insert element. When you click on the first point, which must touch an element node that point, it's very very Im important you you get that because if it didn't touch an element node that point, that means it might be hanging in the space. Okay, so make sure the first point of the point load touches an element endpoint. Okay, then once you have done that, the second point can be anywhere, anywhere at all, it can be anywhere. But then, sometimes, you know, you might also want to, to drop the second point, you might just remove this. Okay, so that it can just be anywhere. I can drop it here. Take this back. Then I will insert the point load. Okay, let's assume that our point load is 20 kN. Okay, so if I want to insert another point load, as I said at the beginning, always make sure that this is checked so that the point we really actually actually touch at an element node point. Okay, so this is my second point load, and then let me assume that it's 10. I can put another point load. Let's assume also is 20. As I said, to insert the point load, just click the start point and the end point. The end point is not important. Wherever it stops is not important. What is important is make sure that the start point touch another point. It's very, very important you get that. Okay? Then, I can insert another point load. As you can see, to allow the, the software to allow you to drop it anywhere within here you want above, you know, the user defined grid, you can just off the, you know, check out the the or the object not user defined, and then you can drop it anywhere. Okay, let's assume this is thirty. Okay, okay, let's let me just assume that this is the point loss I have. It can be anything. Just define it by yourself. Now, another next advanced, um, but that we can, we'll talk about that could be in our, our less later in our advanced um, um, tutorial that we'll do. I might also show you how you can also use the software to build the point load. Okay, but for now, you inside the point load, define the point load I write, and the software we respect your decisions. Okay, the next thing is to put insert the the supports. Tell the software where. The, the the truss is supported okay now to insert my support at first as i said to touch an element of course whenever you're inserting a point load or you're inserting a support they have they have to connect with the element and to make sure that it's really connected with the element you have to always make sure that the object snap user defined grid only is checked so once you do that i can click here and of course to check out the second point to drop the, the to click on the second point i'll just remove it so that it will allow me to drop it anywhere i want so this is my support let's assume that this support is pin support okay then i can put the second support which is going to be a ruler support this is my second support just insert support Before I do that, make sure this is checked so that uh, we actually connect with the element because this is very important. Okay, then I can to drop the support, just remove it and then drop. And I'll call this my ruler support. So that's it. There you have it. You have the loadings and then the support. 
let me just change the scale guess one in seventy five so that is my truss now to analyze the truss it's quite very straightforward all I need to do is just to click truss analysis that's it it's all done just one button once you click on this the software will analyze the truss and then the software will give you the compression and the tension forces on the member where necessary okay now of course if you want to see the, the compression and the compression and tension forces on the element just go to element properties and then once you select an element of course certainly you just see the the, the forces on the element under the the element forces okay so you can just move down or the element you will be seeing the whether it's under compression or whether it's under tension okay that is how you get the element forces okay so that that is it about the truss analysis and design truss analysis actually as i said um to see the compression forces on the element you can see on the element forces this is where the forces in the element you can see for my element one which is this sorry which is this vertical element that's my element one you can see the com is under compression so there you have it my element two which is this second element is under tension there you have it so that is how it works now let before i i conclude this exercise i just want to point out some areas that you need to watch okay when modeling with the software you know it's very very important you 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 note all these um places so that you don't run into troubles okay let me um zoom the drawing again just k1 in 50. okay now when inserting the point loads always make sure that you have the object snap on except if you're working with a very simple um a very simple truss could be in which um everything is in, in place the 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 not the the grids or the coordinates are kind of within the normal grid of the software because the normal grid of the software are usually at 500 interval so it's possible that you're working with just a very simple truss then you don't have any trouble but when the truss is com com complex and when the truss you know the configuration is quite very very complicated you must always make sure you create the grid first to make it much more easier to model create the grid then you cannot model the element but then for you to ins make sure that the elements are well connected you know make sure that the object snap user defined grid only is always checked by so doing you will make sure that the points you are you are clicking are actually connecting to where you want them to connect because the truth is because the distances might be so small you might not actually see it okay but it's not connecting so to make sure that it's connected it's always good you check the object snap user defined grid make sure it is checked okay by so doing you will be sure and the rest are sure that the points you are clicking are connecting okay and then secondly when modeling your truss you have to also make sure you watch like sometimes like i can see in the example we have some of the lines are quite very close to each other always make sure if if need be if you want to zoom it much more bigger so that you can see clearer better because in truss modeling you know making sure that you are doing the right thing is very very important you can zoom so you can see very clearly clearer so that you know that the points you are clicking are actually where they ought to be it's very very important you know this okay so that when you are clicking on a point you know you actually meant to click a very good example if i want to click here i know i'm clicking here and not the second line above okay it's very very important to watch this because these are the little little things that can especially when when the distances are very very small you know when you zoom them you know smaller with the software you might not even know that the gap is there okay but when you watch it 
you know it, it will make the whole thing easier and of course you'll get a very good result okay that's the things that you have to note and of course as i said earlier for you to insert your point load make sure you also have at the beginning you have the object snap user defined grid only in place then after that to drop the second point you can just uncheck it okay and drop your point okay so that is it all for now about the trust analysis i hope you enjoyed thank you